Howdy everyone, SOB here, and today I'll be going over the Fleet Colony Energy Space Weapons. If you've been wondering why some of us are still rushing this holding with the high cost, well, this is why. These weapons are available in every damage type with a much better mod selection than previous fleet weapons. You can choose times 3 variants of any of the four core mods, so crit H times 3, damage 3, crit D3, act 3, whatever. Damage 3 and crit D3 will be the most popular, of course. What makes these weapons truly special is the unique per successful attack proc they have. Every shot that successfully hits your target has a 2.5% chance to give you a shield and toll heal that will scale with your crit severity. An important thing to note though is the crit severity mod on the weapon itself does not count towards this. Only sources of crit D that appear on the stats page of your ship count. In addition, many of the plus whole heal and shield heal buffs out there will affect this, so things like the Kabali RIF console or the biotech patch trait will help out quite a bit. The background footage you've seen so far is from the testing I did just earlier tonight. The rest of the footage will be of me soloing the rest of the ISA with minimal heals on my ship and me forgetting to hit things because, well, you see, Tribble really messes with your tray when you swap a character over, or copy a character over. The proc rate in my test was close to the advertised rate. It was slightly lower, but that can be attributed to the limited 15 or so minute test. However, the test was enough to conclude that the proc is not per cycle, which was what most of us were concerned about. In this test, I had around 110 base crit D, with it going up and down depending on what buffs were up at the time. I had no traits or consoles that specifically buffed all healing. I did have the Miracle Worker specialization on, but the testing showed that this heal cannot crit. If you want to see more data, I'll have a link in the description to a spreadsheet and the parse for those that want to review those. There's a lot of data there to go through. I'll also have a Reddit post going up on at least RSTO builds about these weapons at the same time as this video going out. So if you want to see some more discussion, just head on over there. Now, the short and simple summary is that these weapons have a great proc rate and an amazing proc. When we get these on the live server, I have no doubt that these weapons will become the new meta. This will disrupt the current weapons market quite a bit, as there will be very little competition to these weapons. I would advise you all to start saving up for these weapons. They're the same cost as previous fleet weapons, and you'll need a bit of dill to upgrade them due to them being ultra rare Mark 12 off the bat. We should start seeing fleets get to tier 5 infrastructure to unlock these in as soon as 3 to 4 months from this uh, video coming out. And if they are not working as intended, hopefully Cryptic will address them now before we invest how much to get there. But right now it looks like they're working as intended based on what the tooltip says, so I have my hopes up for these. Anyhow, that wraps up this video, so as always, if you have any questions, just ask down in the comments section below. Now enjoy the rest of this solo ISA. It has no audio because I had Spotify going on this playlist, and if I don't want to hear the songs again, you guys probably don't want to hear the songs again. So uh, enjoy the silent ISA. See you all next time.